This is a love story. Oh, the music isn't too loud and obnoxious. Let's get in this. I only have ten minutes. Let's go. The hero You're and the princess. On a path oh, hello. In the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the you're here to slay her. Oops, if sorry. you don't, it will be the end of the world. Explore that one. Have you? Maybe on the reason she's here. Was she's locked up? <laughs> Holy options! The sweet. I've always wanted to offer monarch. If you've had a Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> you make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, cheat. and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Hmm. Proceed. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. How convenient. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. What if I enter without the dagger? I just wanted to know. We'll just walk in without it. See what happens. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. Ooh. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from mm. the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Oh, she sounds lovely. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. <laughs> You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Just continue. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able <laughs> to do what needs to be done. No weapon, thank you. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around oh. her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Hold on. Okay. Let's talk a bit. I want to know some things. Hi. What's your name? I don't know anything about you for all you have to be for a reason. For the first two, what have you been eating or drinking? <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and see what is she eating and drinking. I don't see what that has to do with anything. <laughs> what this know. is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. <laughs> That's hardly relevant. I just want to know. I just want to know. Okay, know. Actually, what has she been eating? She has to ah, eat, right? Come on. Um. 
Okay, let's try to make me regret this. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you, and, and you won't. I promise. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't have the key? No. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Uh, um, Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Oh? She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. Like, oh. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. Oh. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Oh dear. Is someone else here? Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. The heck? I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess. <laughs> and you won't leave until the task is done. Am I stuck here now? Try you to draw the door. Last oh, day. From the uh, good guess. Okay, back downstairs we go. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd have just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. Fair. That's a fair point, narrator. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Mm, yes. There's um, a slight panic yes. rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before <sighs> raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped <gasps> Oh, my word. As she rips her flesh from her bone, oh. the sound comes from behind you. Mm -hmm. The clang of bouncing metal. <laughs> it's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Oh my god. What kind of person just goes gnawing on their arm? That's inhuman. She can't be human. Ah, uh, tried. Without hesitation, you bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. That's not her back. That's in her shoulder. The wound drives her to the ground. Uh, okay, it is in her back. Oh my god, feathered. I'm feathered? Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Oh. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. <laughs> You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. Uh, I don't I'm believe that. So sure. Yeah, I agree. Like, I hear him. Don't just, waver now. I don't believe this. As you ready your blade to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear at her arms. She has talons too. Your knife cuts into her again and again as you're tackled to the ground, your body wrecked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw. You're not human. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. Yeah. Kill her. Your nerves are seizing with pain. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Uh, 
Um, what happens if I finish the job? You steal your resolve and take another step closer to the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can still make sure that she won't make it out of here either. Excuse me? What's this about not making it out of here alive? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation. <laughs> honestly, it's yeah, a miracle the fourth wall, that's funny. this room is still standing. That's funny. Don't act so surprised. Can you not feel all those gashes and holes pulling you apart? If the princess doesn't do you in here, blood loss is certain to finish the job. <laughs> you take another step forward, and the princess lunges towards you. The two of you enter one last exchange, a flurry of blade and claw and fleshy ribbons. And then you stop. Neither you nor Princess able to go any further. You collapse on the ground, and the Princess collapses beside you. Blood pools around you both, and you watch each other fade away. After all this time alone, I thought I'd finally found a friend. But you were just another monster, weren't you? Silence, as the room starts to get fuzzy around you. You've paid a terrible price, but you've saved us all. It's over. Did I? I this is it. You're sorely mistaken. I think I succeeded. One way or another, I'll make sure you pay for this. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, <laughs> and you die. That's with a little ending to that chapter. <laughs> Just, yeah, and you're dead. Nice. Not really. <laughs> You're on a path in the woods. Let me and just at the hear. end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. Yeah. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Um, I died. I can assure you that you're not dead. Uh, As to answer your second question, you're here to stay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. <laughs> Thank you. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Brilliant. We need to keep our Ooh. cards close to our chest, and I'm not sure we can trust him. Opportunist. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. <laughs> Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? Slip of the tongue, bit of the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. That's a turn. Turn around and leave. Well, you're the boss. <laughs> Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Nope. The only thing that matters is that I'm not going. <laughs> oh, I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. That's and strange. Why am I at the cabin? It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, fine. That's great to hear. As long as you bring that fiery attitude to princess slaying, I think this will all resolve splendidly. The heck? This is probably for the best. Okay. The interior oh. of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots, the walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Um. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. What about the mirror? That's because there isn't a mirror. There's the muddy shelf, the blade sitting on the muddy shelf, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. He says there isn't one. 
That's got to count for something, right? Voice of the opportunist. Uh, let's look into the mirror. Let's approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. <laughs> there isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Pop the mirror. You reach forward oh. and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Well, at least we can all agree now that there's nothing to see here. Case closed. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Thank you. Okay, um, take the blade. You take the blade from the shelf. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. She doesn't have to know we have it. That's not actually a bad idea. Explore the basement. Stay, 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 stay. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. Mm. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor waiting to swallow you up into the earth. How lovely. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Calm down. <laughs> Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. <laughs> I'm not nasty. But you are. You're a wretched little thing. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are. Oh. And I remember what you've done. She must have you confused with someone else. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. Maybe. You can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. <laughs> I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? <laughs> Fair. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need Get calm down. Lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. <laughs> fine, fine. You're the boss. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hello, hey, hi. the basement steps, entering the dark room below. I think we'll just linger over here for a little bit longer, don't you think? I like that idea. Let's save here. And then uh, we'll be back later.